All right, well, several economic stimulus packages have been proposed this week from sitting congressional members to presidential hopefuls. Later this morning, Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke will get questioned by the House Budget Committee about what type of package will work, as well as risks and benefits. Two of the House members who will be asking the questions this morning are Republican Scott Garrett of New Jersey and Tennessee Democrat Jim Cooper joins us on Money for Breakfast. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. All right. Uh, let me get started with you, Congressman Garrett. Tell us, uh, what are you planning on asking Mr. Bernanke today? Well, I guess we need to get to the point of, do we need just a one-time quick fix as being proposed by members on the other side of the aisle, or is the better solution something where we get sustainable growth um, that will help us now and also into the future as well? Is what the market looking for really uh, just some infusion of cash, or is the market really looking for um, certainty? Um, and that's what our proposal on our side of the aisle is looking to do. You know, I would probably be asking the same question. Congressman Cooper, do you agree? I mean, one of the questions I look at when everybody talks about this stimulus package is, is it going to put us in a more difficult situation than we already are in, and how are we going to fund this? Right. We're going to have a, a good exchange with Ben Bernanke, and I already know the answer to Scott's question because we already have a copy of Ben's testimony, and he is for a temporary limited fix that is paid for. He wants it to be timely and targeted. So I think we're going to have a very good hearing. I think we'll have a restrained package, but an effective one that puts the economy back on track. Uh, Congressman Cooper, let me go back to you. Timely and targeted. What do you think that means? What's the solution he is suggesting and that you're comfortable with? Well, the money really needs to hit the street within the next three to six months at the outside within the next year. Remember, we've already fixed the AMT problem. Congress did that back in December. That's about a $75 billion plus for the economy, uh, contrary to what it would have been expecting. So we're making progress already. I think you're going to see an outbreak of bipartisanship here. Democrats and Republicans have to work together to get the money on the street that fast. Uh, Congressman Garrett, let me turn back to you because I've been looking sure. at the Middle Class Jobs Protection Act. Uh, you've been talking about cutting corporate taxes down to 25 uh, percent. Right. You talked about some incentives right. for small business owners, some depreciation. Right. Uh, what, what do you think these things are going to do? And you think it, this is a targeted solution that Ben Bernanke is looking for? I, I think it would be, and I think he would be on board with it. Because, look, we can look at history uh, to teach us what is not going to be a solution to the problem. Uh, one of the solutions that are being proposed out there is just a rebate of some form back to the American taxpayer, whatever the amount of money is. But we've, we've tried that before, and we know exactly what happens when the American public gets a, a few extra dollars in their pocket. The history has shown us that about a third of it they uh, go to use to pay off some bills, a third of it they maybe just put in the bank, which basically means it's put on the sidelines, and then a third of it maybe they'll go out and buy a one-time item, you know, a new TV set or uh, a toaster or something like that. So it's a, a one-third of the entire expensing that you're doing with that or spending at that time is really doing any stimulus at all, and it's so short-term that it's really not going to do, uh, to have marginal impact upon the overall economy. So what really needs to be done is to give some sort of uh, stability to the marketplace. Right now, investors are sitting back, looking at the housing market is in the doldrums. Uh, the Democrats are proposing even more tax increases. The Democrats are proposing that the, uh, the president's tax cuts in the past be uh, scrapped. So the investors are looking back on the sidelines, holding back any investments. So what our proposal does is say, let's get off the sidelines, let's give some certainty, let's propose to say that corporate taxes, as you know, U.S. corporate taxes are one of the highest in the country of or in the world, yep. lo lower those, and for the immediate terms, let's allow for some immediate expensing, um, allow businesses to begin to say, we're going to take some money out of... Uh, uh, off the sidelines and expense it now. Okay, I, I just want to turn back to Congressman Cooper because sure. we're running out of time here. Listen, if you're the American public right now, you are seeing on the cover of every newspaper across this country a different talk about a different stimulus package, whether it's from a presidential candidate or from somebody in Washington, D.C. How do you yeah. sift through all of this and are you going to give us some kind of resolution when you talk to Ben Bernanke today? Well, Alexis, uh, you were right earlier. Scott's package is not targeted. You're going to see a lot of talk today about a targeted package that really helps people get back in the game in the economy. Scott is a wonderful member of Congress, but he represents one of the richest congressional districts in America. The average American needs help here. It's the middle class that needs the help, and I think you're going to see a package that delivers help to them. All right. Uh, I wish I could let you, Congressman Garrett, reply, but unfortunately we've run out of time. All right. Congressman Garrett and Cooper, thank you both very much for joining us today. And, and ask the tough questions, okay?
We, we will. Shall. Thank you.